This video briefly demonstrates the key steps to retrofitting Quick Mount PV's new low slope mount onto an already existing built up asphalt roof. Roofs vary considerably, and to maintain the roof warranty and reduce your own liability, it's important to study the roofing manufacturer's warranty, carefully follow the Quick Mount PV instructions that come in the box, and to consult the engineer of record whenever possible. First place the flashing where you plan to install the mount, which will be directly above the rafter. Then scribe an outline around the flashing. Heat the modified bitumen torch down material where the mount and flashing are going to go and apply tar all over the outlined area. Now is the time to install your mount. Mark the two penetration points with either a pencil or light drilling. Use two opposing holes on the base plate parallel to the structural member. Drill both holes with a 7 32nd inch bit. The lags must be anchored into a structural member, so it's very important to hit the center of the rafter with your pilot hole. Fill the pilot holes with a sealant compatible with the roof. Now attach your mount using the two 3 inch lag bolts. You'll need a half inch socket on your drill. You are now ready to flash the mount and the roof around it. Be sure to use flashing materials specified by the roofing manufacturer. Flashing with a 4 inch cone can be used on the higher parts of the roof. But for mounts placed in the drip line or flood zone on the outer edges of the roof, the NRCA recommends using an 8 inch high aluminum cone. To help with adhesion, rough up the top and bottom of the flashing with a piece of sandpaper. Next, apply a quick layer of oil-based primer spray to help the tar stick to the flashing. You will also need to cut a hole for the flashing cone out of a piece of modified bitumen torch down material. For extra protection, some roofers utilize techniques that use more than two pieces of torch down material. Now that you've prepped your flashing, it's time to nail it to the roof. Use square head galvanized steel nails. The nails should be spaced about two inches apart. Don't nail too close to the center of the flashing. Place a smaller piece of modified bitumen torch down material next to the flashing and heat both the flashing and the bitumen material by torching. Scrape the heated tar onto the flashing to act as secondary priming. Finally, place a large piece of modified bitumen torch down material over the flashing. This is called the cap sheet. Torch underneath the cap sheet, working from the center to the outside. Make sure that the last inch and a half is carefully adhered because this is the area most prone to leaks. Finish the job by sealing the EPDM collar on top of the flashing as a secondary waterproofing defense. As always when installing a PV array onto a commercial building, it's essential to use the services of a professional roofer. For more information on the low slope mount and all quick mount PV products, please visit our website.